Actually, almost be tag seal because we want. Yeah, so these have all been pre made. Yeah. Yep. I'm just trying to say five minutes because of. Well, primarily for winch recovery of it when we cannot land. However, if we can't, we will use a stretcher and our paramedic will be up here. We come back up here but now, uh, but if we go to Tarok, you want to get. Okay, we've got a, a rehearsal today, it's an, an exercise, and uh, whereby we will be given a position somewhere on the range where there is a, a, a fictitious casualty and we'll fly out to that position on the range, land, assess the casualty and uh, make a decision on where we transport, whether we transport them to a, a military medical facility or whether we transport them to Rockhampton Hospital. Once that decision's made, we'll uh, pack up and head towards that facility and uh, test the procedures at the receiving facility. You know, uh, the emergency procedures in place, have we got a greeting committee, is the bed compatible with our stretcher, all those sorts of things that make a seamless operation. So practicing together when you've got multiple different forces who are trained in different ways is critically important. And actually it comes from aviation the importance of communication in crisis. They call it crisis resource management. And so that's why we run a practice like today. It's so that our linguistics and our vernacular and all the words that we're using match up with all the army and defense force words, match up with the layman terms that you're saying when you've had an injury yourself, just talking to the doctors directly straight. Basically, what we get to do is we get to have a run at talking to each other and learning what each other needs. Then my needs as the doctor uh, are extremely different to the needs of the pilot. I'm Im immediately thinking, what's the mechanism of the injury? What injuries have they got? What are their airway, breathing, circulation, disability findings? Have they had a tornagay? What, what have we done so far? But the pilot is thinking, what's the wind? What's the weather? What's the access point? What's my landing zone? Am I going to have to hoist? How much fuel have I got on board? How far is the host? It's very, very different. So the, the two ports of information just for us are important to articulate with each other. And then I've got my medical, medical uh, decision making with the army treatment team and with the medic on the ground with limited information. So getting used to the idea of interprofessional communication is extremely important and at the end of the day if it can save a life and if it can speed something up to the point at which they make it to the surgery and they have the life-saving intervention it's all going to be worth it.